Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to the first day of our online summer class, um, Advanced Composition for Future Teachers or English 333. I wanted to just um, check in with you, see how you're doing. Um, it's around noon, so I'm hoping that you've been able to look over the website um, of the course and the Blackboard materials. Um, you will find that there are um, some duplicates. So, for example, the syllabus and the assignment sequence are on Blackboard, um, but really you should kind of get used to looking at the website, which is the link to the Wix website, which is on the banner of the front page of your Blackboard site. And that will give you most of the information about the class, and hopefully you've gotten to take a look at this and start thinking about the materials and um, moving forward on your first day of work. So um, just for a few seconds of um, reminders, I know it's hard because this class gets moving really quickly. Um, you have work due every day, Monday through Thursday, and then some things that you'll need to do on the weekend in addition. Um, it moves really quickly. You need to get started right away. I don't take late work unless there's a really extenuating reason. Um, so it's important that you contact me right away if you're missing things or unable to complete something that's due that day. Some of the things that um, you should be prepared is that there's a book in this class. Um, it's called The Partials. Uh, you will need to be looking at that by the second week. So you should grab it and start reading it as soon as possible. It's a young adult um, a young adult dystopian fiction, so it's a pretty easy, fun summer read. It shouldn't be overwhelming to you, um, but it's coming up, so you should probably be doing that as you're getting the other work done of the class um, as you get started. Um, when you're looking at the website, the Wix site is what I'm talking about, um, there's some things that you should be looking at right away. Um, one tab that's really important is the assignment sequence tab, and that tells you the dates that everything is due. And then another thing that's important is the Assignments tab, and that has information um, that will tell you when things are due also. Um, there's a quick note. There's a little bit of a discrepancy of information between the um, Assignments tab and the Assignment Sequence, and it's in the Microtheme essays, and there's a reason for that. So I'm going to explain to you what's happened and why I might have changed my mind a little bit. Originally, I had put that there would be a micro-theme paper due at the end of each week um, on Sunday, June 7th, Sunday, June 14th, and Sunday, June 21st. And that would be really one micro-theme or mini paper that you would do per week um, based upon the material um, that you're working on. And that's what it says in the micro-theme essays on the assignments page. If you move over to the assignment sequence, it kind of says something different, and I'm going to tell you my philosophy about it here in a minute. Um, it says two um, papers must be completed by the end of week three, and then the due date is Sunday that the material is done. So, for example, this week on Tuesday, you'll be reading an article called Reading Classrooms as Text. So you could do your blog or vlog posting um, about that and that would be due Tuesday, but you may decide you want to do the mini paper on that material and that would be due Sunday. And that still stands true, um, that I would expect that you would do um, at least one of the piece of the works of that week's of the reading, that you would do a mini paper on that, um, and it would be due that Sunday, so that's not really very different. But then I said that two papers must be completed by end of week three. And so that's just to kind of keep you on track. Um, it, you could, in reality, not do one the first week and still get three done. But it would be better to get one done every week because it'll spread out your uh, work a little bit better. So that was my thinking process. Also, some people... Um, had emailed me and wanted to work a little bit ahead because of some circumstances that they're facing. And that's fine. I don't really have too much of an issue of working a little bit ahead. But I encourage you not to work ahead to the second micro theme until you've gotten 
feedback from the first one and I'll try to get back those to you really quickly just in case those mini paper micro themes aren't kind of at the grade level that you want it'll give you opportunity that you can um, make changes and adjust because I do grade those pretty specifically I look at MLA or APA format they need to have a works cited page you need to use quotes and citations directly from the materials um, they should have an organizational structure with the beginning middle and end an introduction a conclusion you need to have a separate works cited page all this information of course is on the website but it doesn't hurt to share it with you one more time um, so I am rather picky on those and usually what happens is sometimes the first one's not great but then pe people usually adjust for um, the second one and they're usually fine so I'd like you to get some feedback before you move ahead to the second one. I would encourage you to not work more than a week ahead. Um, I think that that becomes problematic. It's better to kind of stay with the material in about a week and then um, that'll scaffold you and move you into the next pieces um, because the class has a definite um, progression to it um, to get to the final project at the end, which is creating your own um, design, course design, a four-week course design of a grade level of your choosing. That's part of the final. The other part of the final is a pedagogical response, which explains to me um, why you chose to design the curriculum you did and how the material from our course has informed your course design so there you need to get a little under your belt to get there so if you want to work ahead I would say that's fine just try to not work more than a week ahead and I think that will be work out pretty well let me talk really quickly about the blogs or the vlogs and I'm opening this up this semester so that you can create either a video um, response or a written response. Um, I actually think the video responses are a little tougher um, than the writing responses, but it's up to you which one you want to do. Um, you can choose either or um, for all of the materials. You will do one for every um, material that we're working with. It's clearly written of what those are on the assignment sequence. Um, for example, our first day today is um, Theoretical Foundations is the article that we're reading. You can find the link to that article on the course calendar on the Wix website. If you go to the picture next to the course calendar day and click on it, there'll be a PDF attached to it. Um, you can read that and then you would do your blog or your vlog response. Just a quick reminder that um, I'm expecting that the vlog responses, if you're doing a video response, that you're gonna upload it to probably YouTube um, and then you're going to post it for me um, on Blackboard and that would be a three minute, a minimum of a three minute vlog. You should still be thinking about a quote or an idea that you can talk about directly from the material um, that you read. So even though you're just speaking in a camera, you should be thinking about a quote or an idea to bring into your vlog directly from the material. So um, I'm going to use an example from the next one, which is week two. I mean, sorry, day two. I'm, this would usually be week two. I know this is how fast it goes, which is reading classrooms as text is Jenny Nelson. So if you were doing a vlog on that, a three minute vlog that you were going to post, you would want to be talking about the article specifically. You might want to say something like, in Jenny Nelson's um, article reading classrooms as text. She addresses an idea regarding the professional student and how they come into the writing classroom directly with direct knowledge of how a classroom works. So I'm looking for very specific um, notations of what's happening in the text. I would expect the same thing if you do a written response. So if you're doing a written response, I would expect that you would, again, highlight areas of the text that seem valuable or useful to you and are helping to form your pedagogy of how you would work within a writing and reading classroom or writing and reading within a classroom. The only um, little, I guess, thought that I have regarding a vlog versus a blog is that on a certain level, blogs are a little more useful in the fact that if you do write them, they can, you can use any of the thing that you've written in your mini paper. So 
Um, that's one thing to think about. I probably, for me personally, as a student, if I was going to be writing, if I was going to be writing the mini paper, the four page paper, I probably would do a blog posting, a written blog posting on that um, reading because I probably would want to start working with formulating ideas in text and wanting to utilize that within my paper, which might be a little harder to do with the vlog, but I have no rule to it. So it's entirely up to you. For every um, day of material, you can either choose a blog or a vlog. And again, all your material gets posted to Blackboard and everything that you need to learn from me is in the Wix website. I have learned through this pandemic that um, long videos don't work. So I'm at 11 minutes and I think I'm at my maximum. <laughs> I'm going to leave it here, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me during the day, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. One last thing is that a couple people asked to do things early, and I said that was okay. Um, the assignment didn't open until today, so you couldn't post it till today, but if you completed it, you can come on to Blackboard and post any time when, you're, when you've completed the work. Okay, I'm looking forward to spending time with you um, this summer. We've got four weeks. It's going to fly by. If you want to meet with me personally, I like to set up 15-minute um, little um, meetings, and I can set them up through Zoom, and we can do that, and I'm happy to do that. So just let me know. Shoot me an email, and we can connect. Have a nice day. Good luck um, this semester. I, it moves fast. Just a little bit of a warning. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. Thanks.